Kelly Swoop. Jamie has the evening off. A family and an entire community mourning the loss of a 13 year old girl after she was murdered in East Baltimore. It happened along Fayette and Caroline Street last Monday. Tonight, WMR2 News Brittany Verner was there as family and loved ones gathered for a special candlelight vigil to honor this young lady's legacy and all the lives that she touched. Brittany, it looked like there was a huge turnout for this vigil. Yeah, Kelsey Washington, who was only 13 years old, died a week after being shot in the head. Tonight, loved ones who were with her when it happened are speaking out about this terrible tragedy that has forever changed their lives. Long live Kelsey. She gonna live through us. Forever she Kel. gonna have us forever, Kel. It's the words family, friends, and loved ones chanted during a candlelight visual on Wednesday evening. That's where they honor the life of 13 year old Kelsey Washington, who was killed after being caught in the crossfire of a gun battle. I was actually right there. What, man? Her uncle right Corey says the day Kelsey was shot in the head, he watched his niece be struck by a bullet. I was right there when it happened. When she fell and hit the ground, I was on the ground with her. Loved ones say last Monday, just after 5 p.m., the team was in the area near Caroline and Fayette Street, raising money for her school dance team. That's when a gunfight broke out between two men and Kelsey was struck in the head by a bullet. She died a week after the shooting and leaves behind five siblings. Now loved ones are striving to keep her name alive through everyone who knew her. We just want Kelsey to continue to live through us. We want the world to remember about my niece, the legacy that she left. The 13 years that she was on this earth, she blessed a lot of people. She touched a lot of hearts and Kelsey was really, really loved. Kelsey's dance team performed at the visual while many people wore shirts with her pictures on them and released balloons in her honor. Others didn't know Kelsey personally, but still showed up to support. I mean, I have children of my own. You know, we all have to understand that we're all in this together. You know, our heart just goes out to the family, to the community and the city at large. And family and community members alike express the same concerns as it relates to gun violence throughout Baltimore. The gun play, you know, it, it needs to stop. I feel like the people in the community should know that the gun violence needs to stop now. If not yesterday, day before that, we're losing too many of our young children, our young women and our young men to gun violence and it needs to stop. Police have arrested Tavon Battle, who is accused of shooting and killing that teen. He's now being charged with first and second degree murder. All right, Brittany, thanks for that.